All right, so I have, oh yeah, so um, just in case you're wondering, uh, the leak on the power steering fixed with these tape. So that was like the last video. Uh, that's all fixed now. It's not leaking anymore. That's a good thing. Uh, I also started off, uh, I drilled out. Um, so I was having a tough time going from 916s to 5 eighths. I needed something in between. I got a 19 30 seconds drill bit, drilled it out. And now you can see I've got both tie rods uh, in from the top. So if you're having a problem getting yours because of the angle, getting it in from the bottom, and you got these 96 uh, steering knuckles uh, and spindle, um, drill it from the top. Uh, and it fit with 19, 30 seconds. The bump steer kits are 5 eighths. So there is a possibility I might need to go and make it larger if I go bump steer, which I'll probably eventually do. But to test drive it, I think I'm gonna stick with these uh, stock tie rods uh, just to get it. And I've gotten it pretty aligned. I wanna make a couple little adjustments in steering and get it, make sure it's centered. But yeah, I've got that in now and that in and they're bolted and that is, uh, it's a way better angle too, um, for the tie rod for coming from the steering rack. It doesn't, it doesn't cut down so far. And this is at full droop. So it's gonna come up and I'd say it's, it'll be level uh, when this, you know, the, it's sitting on its suspension. So uh, then, um, yeah, like I said, fix that leak in the power steering cooler. You know, that might be a problem you have, it might not be. Um, and now I've moved on to furthering going down the line. So they have two spots. Uh, you know, like if you look, they want you to connect the uh, fans on off. I haven't done that yet, but I have connected my water. So on the 4.6 liter, I took out, I'm running auto meter gauges. I took out this uh, port here and I put auto meter has a, a fitting that goes in there. And then I've wired it up here with the Ron Francis kit. Uh, I'm going to finish that all up and kind of tuck it and zip tie it and all that. Uh, when I make sure that it works, I haven't tested it yet. Uh, and then I did the oil pressure switch in the bottom. Bitch, if you can see, let's see, all right, there we go, uh, is right there. And it doesn't, I don't know, the oil pan actually hangs down farther than that switch. So I'm not really worried about it right now. I might move it at some point up so that it's not hanging down vertically, it's more up horizontal. Uh, but I would need to take the um, oil pressure light switch out and redo that. And so I'm not, not worrying about it right now. Um, but my, one of my power steering lines is in the way, so I can't, I have to do some weird feeling thing. So anyway, uh, then I moved on to the, uh, what they have you do next is the trans tunnel aluminum. So I finished riveting it. What I'm gonna, they want you to rivet this in place. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install some threaded inserts and make it so that it bolts in and that, and I'll put like three of them. And so you can take it off uh, because I kind of like the access that it gives you to everything in the top. Um, so for right now, I'm gonna thread it, insert it. I'm gonna put it in there. Uh, that way in case I have any issues, uh, I can take that tunnel off. Uh, and they have you, I guess with every different transmission, this is going to end up in a different spot. So these, two, that's why these are two pieces. Um, and then they have you put this plug in over here. What's this plug? I'm not really sure why it's a plug. Maybe for some transmissions you need that. Mine, there's nothing behind it. So it's just kind of a, a open hole for nothing. Other than that, I need to order some uh, electric brake or e electric brake. Uh, emergency brake cables. This is the emergency brake handle. I need to bolt that in. Um, that's one of my next things. And then I got to order the cables to go to the uh, rear cal calipers. Other than that, I'm getting closer to test driving it. I'm not there yet. Uh, we'll see. I'd like uh, within the next week possibly 
uh, just to at least get it out uh, for a little test drive and see how it works. Um, the brakes still feel good. I, I haven't found any leaks yet. Um, so I want to go over that system as well and double check it before I uh, put it on the road. But yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's the next step. I still have to do the aluminum panel. They want you to enclose this. Uh, but again, like I'm, I'm trying to hold off on certain areas until like I really need to enclose them so I don't have to reopen them back up again. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's it for now. And um, yeah, up, another update will, will hopefully follow soon. All right, so here we are. Progress is, is a little slow lately um, just because I haven't really had that much time. Uh, to work on it, but this is like a little bit of a um, an update from the, the last part of the video um, and where I'm at trying to get it on the road at least to do a test drive in it um, so what I did let's see I put the tunnel so in the manual they want you to put the tunnel on the over the transmission they want you to silicone and rivet it in and I kind of thought, well, it'd be nice to have it so you could remove it. Uh, a couple people online said, there's no reason to do that. They've never had to take theirs off. But, so I made mine, I put uh, those riv nuts in and then I put a uh, quarter 20 uh, uh, button head bolts in um, to make it so I could remove it. I put three on one side, three on the other. Uh, I already have needed to remove it. So after you put the tunnel on, later on you put the emergency brake uh, and cables on. And to put, so uh, what are the years? Let's see. I think it's like 93 to 04, I want to say. Uh, there's two brackets for the cables. There's a bracket back here and there's a bracket right here. I could get to this bracket pretty easily. I could not get to this bracket. So I had to take the tunnel back off uh, to put the cable and you still have extra cable because if I had to put the on the bracket back there it wouldn't reach there's a little like T piece that's on the cable on the uh, e-brake so it wouldn't have reached so and I couldn't reach up there with my hands so I had to take I went in from the top that was the easiest way to do it so I've already needed to take it off so I kind of like the fact uh, I can remove it the only thing I need to figure out is it's a, it needs to be dampened probably somehow. So I'll put some sort of um, material under it so that in between the, the cross diagonal crossbars that go on the transmission tunnel frame part, uh, it has a little bit of uh, dampening, uh, something soft in there, but it works. The handle works, um, turns on, it locks the brake. Um, it's a little awkward. It kind of rubs on the frame a little bit. I'm not, not my favorite, but if you're just putting it to lock the the rear wheels when you park it so it doesn't roll in case you know something happens you know that's that's, that's all it's there for um and i'm sure they put they have you put some sort of cover over it because that's the stock brake there um let's see so the other thing i've done is i've put the because before the parking brake they actually want you to finish up uh the driver side footwell so i put the side panel on and then i put the patch panel on here uh, it hasn't had me put the top panel back on yet, so that's open. Uh, I still got to clean up some wires, um, but other than that, uh, I'm just chasing down like little leaks and stuff here and there, um, and trying to like clean things up a little bit before I take it for a drive. The next section is seats. Uh, so that is the next thing. So that will be the next thing I do, put the seats in, and then um, see how much I think. Uh, I've already fired mine up, so I'm a little farther down the road in this. I still need to do all the dash stuff. I still have to check my water and oil gauges, um, but that'll all be when I go to run it. You know, fill it with fuel and, and take it out. And I need to figure out what I'm still gonna do with my air filter here. But that is, uh, that's the update for now. Um, and then I, I still got to come up with a solution. I want to tie this up 
kind of against that coil perch there. Because it is, the, you know, the cables are for a Mustang, so they're pretty long. Uh, I, the rear end is a little farther back, you know, longer wheelbase. Um, so yeah, so I still got to figure all that out. But that's where I'm at. A uh, little update there. Uh, I'm, you know, I think the solution to take the tunnel off, if you think you're going to have to work on something under there, I don't know. I don't know what, uh, how are there better way than to uh, make it so that you can take that off. Uh, or you're going to be stuck with it. Um, you're going to be stuck with it in one spot well, after you rivet it uh, to get to everything. So, yeah, there you go. That's it for now.